Hello everybody, Cone Dodger here. We are back in automation. We got a new build today, 1113. Uh, some updates. Multiplayer has been officially added to the game, so everybody that has it, both demo and pre-order, can get to it. Um, there's differences in the amount you can do between demo and uh, pre-order, but it is completely working and functional. Uh, you saw last episode, I joined in a, a couple games. Uh, I'm gonna hop into those later on. Um, but first, also added to the game was some more scenarios. I haven't done a scenario in forever. And judging by how poorly I did in the multiplayer uh, the last couple times I tried it, maybe I need to go back to scenarios and uh, maybe relearn what I should be doing. Um, but you see here, inline six engines have a new set of um, scenarios to them. All right, so I'm not going to do all of these. Um, I don't want to spoil anything uh, for you because you might want to go through here and maybe try some of these yourself. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is this medium one here, fighting the imports. I don't know, the, the title of it just kind of struck me, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's see what it says here. Uh, with the ban on importation being dropped, there are tons of new competitors in the market. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Your cars were designed in the 70s and didn't keep up. Uh, um, our goal here is to cut down on that technology gap and make something uh, high performance and cheap. That's what every car manufacturer seems to want ever is high performance and cheap. That's um, the two combinations that are pretty much the hardest to achieve is high performance and cheap. Um, and you run into a lot of issues when you get there. But um, Manufacturing year is 1990. Regular unleaded electronic fuel injection. No special manufacturer requirements, so um, uh, no like forged con rods or anything crazy like that. Power more than 87.2, but that's a 0%. That's important to think of later on. MTBF longer than 53,000 miles, economy less than 0.8, and a 40% on the uh, score. Uh, total cost less than 1,400. That's also very restrictive, so I'm thinking this is probably going to be a pretty small in line six. Weight was not a concern, so we can save some money with a block, so we can go with a cast, cast iron block. Size-wise, I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm going to go with a 2-liter to start with. Pretty square engine, maybe just just short of square. Uh, let's go cheap all the way across. And I'm going to do this pretty rapid-fire, not like multiplayer, but I'm going to try and do it fairly quickly so that um, it helps me uh, with the multiplayer, so maybe I can improve there. I'm gonna go, let's see, four valves per cylinder dual red cam. That's awfully expensive, isn't it? Uh, but it's just the first attempt, so I'm gonna stick with that. I'm gonna go fairly high compression, the 8.7. I say fairly high, even though it's actually low normal. 8.7 is respectably high for our streetcar, so that's what I mean there. Uh, pretty normal cam profile, VVT, VVL, no. Um, there's always time to adjust the style. What can we do here? Uh, I liked the white. I always like the white with the red lettering, but let's try something new. How about the red wrinkle with white lettering? It's new. It's different. It's unique. I'm going to go NA because power, again, not a concern here. Economy is. Not to say that a turbo car can't be very good with economy, but that's a route that's a little more difficult to go down. I'm gonna go with. Hmm. I'm gonna go with single point. Because you get high fuel efficiency and high emissions reduction, high power, and all of that. Um, it's not very high. Um, but, I mean, we do have a tech pool available here of three. 
Oh, decisions, decisions. All right, let's try single first. And I'm gonna go with a standard no, performance intake. We're using regular and leaded. Fairly lean because we want this thing to be efficient. Uh, pretty, pretty good timing. Pretty advanced timing because we want it to have good economy. Uh, I'm thinking about 6,000, maybe 6,100 RPM. All right, well, let's go short cast. No more than a two-inch exhaust. Uh, and we have no restrictions on the emissions or the sound. So we'll leave that open for for the time being. Well, let's start her up and run her through. It's pretty noisy. Imagine that with a straight exhaust. Okay, so I think this is where we're gonna be in trouble, these two. Wow, no, first try. Well, that's that's something. It's not very good yet. Uh, very good MTBF, that's impressive. And, but the economy, wow, I was super close on economy though. So some work can be done there. 124 horsepower, making plenty, plenty of power. So let's see what we can do to maybe increase that economy. Uh, lower cam profile is something that will imp improve economy. Uh, will also mean you need a little bit more octane to keep her going. Um, but that's minimal. Uh, we can advance the timing. Let's see, how were we? 85. We're super close on a little bit of knock, so I might not want to get too carried away with that just yet. Uh, so let's try just that change. Uh, super heavy motor, cast head and cast block, but that's not the restrictions, so I've got to get in that mindset of building it to the specifications, not to reality, I guess is what you would put it at. Okay, so obviously reduction in power, but still creeping above what we need. Our cost any. Uh, yeah, as I feared, we did hit some knock, but just barely. I think it's 86.4, yep. So let's uh, take the ignition down a few ticks. And I'm also going to reduce the rev limit a little because it's not helping us. Alright, let's quick cycle in here. Uh, this is minor, really minor improvement. Um, where are we hurting? We're still hurting in economy. Um, you can see it's getting pretty inefficient up high, so I need to stop this thing at like 5,300 maybe. Let's see what that does. Hmm, good improvement on, uh, uh, not in the right thing though. A uh, good improvement on MTBF. Uh, not using those unused revs. Um, one thing I'm thinking is perhaps this motor is too big, so let me shrink it this way and make it a little bit more of a long stroke motor so we can keep the power but reduce the size. And reduce the size, you reduce the cost. Interesting. Reduced the size, reduced the cost, but also hurt the economy of the motor. That could be because of the uh, out of squareness, the long stroke. I'm not sure. Let me run it through through a few times here and see what the deal is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so shorter stroke motor made it more efficient to a point. <laughs> There's a fine line there apparently, so bring this back up. 803, I had it better than that though. 803, 802, 
802. I had it at 0 0.799, but I don't know what I did to get there. Alright, well, there's 0.8 even. Uh, what else is our restraints? Our MTBF. Uh, but this is in line with this, so that means that if I make it more expensive to make it last longer, that doesn't gain me anything. There's no advantage to that. Uh, let's see, the exhaust is too big, so that should reduce our cost. Tiny little increase there. Um, oh, because I made it bigger, that's why the uh, score changed there. Um, make it better, so that's silver. Uh, I don't know if I said this, but I would like gold. Oh, we're pretty far away from gold, though. All right, so finally some success. I have reached gold. I had to think out of the box. Um, well, not really out of the box, uh, but I had to think of some things that I was previously ignoring, and that was uh, we'll we'll click on make it better so I can show you. Uh, let's see, top end. I ended up going with single overhead cam, four valves per cylinder. Saved me money. Um, much lower compression. You'll notice. Uh, normal cam profile, uh, MA, single point just like we had it, uh, single and performance, on regular and leaded, fuel mixture. Uh, I started thinking if I need to get an economy down, because um, the economy is the biggest points payer, I need to get that fuel mixture as low as possible. So I went with a super low fuel mixture with a lower compression ratio, but low enough compression ratio to give me a a super high advanced timing that gave me just enough power, 88 and a half, but a 18% economy, which is really pretty stinking good, um, which gave me the points to do it. So there you have it. One more new scenario down. Uh, I'm going to go through and play the rest of these off camera. I encourage you to download the uh, newest patch and try out the new ones by yourself and come on over to the multiplayer uh, I'm on there pretty often I'd love to play some games with everybody so I uh, hope that becomes popular but now we're gonna cut away from the single player here to do some multiplayer with Mr. Joe Nettles who uh, I've done some series with previously in Minecraft and most recently in Formula One so into the future I present multiplayer. All right, welcome back, everybody. I am here with Joe Nettles. You may know that voice from uh, F1 2012. If you don't, you should because it's an awesome series and everybody should watch it. Check it out. All right, uh, we're gonna do some multiplayer, just the two of us, because we're both terrible. <laughs> uh, he's setting up the room right now. What do you think you want to go with? Um. I like four limitations, a little more. Okay, so four limitations. Still three specifications. Three specifications. So the, the limitations are things you have to make to pass. Specifications are things you have to make to pass, but they also are your score. Um, what did you think about the length? Was the 240 pretty good? I'd like to go to 300 because I my last test always ends with... Okay. I always That's run fine. out of time. Okay. All right, we'll do a 10 second countdown. We say this because we were just doing a little bit off camera, so because Test. he has yet to play the multiplayer, so I let him catch up a little bit because I have messed with it. Five um, test runs, you think? Yeah, I think the five test works out pretty good. I'd prefer more, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the game is up. All right, let's see what we got here. Joe Nettle's Amazing World of Beating Cone Dodger. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, here we are. You ready? I'm ready. Think we're going to make one run? 1953, regular leaded, 134 horsepower, nothing nope. racy. Yeah, nothing racy. Uh, Must be well closed. Uh, weight's not an issue. That's something. Oh, but, V8. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's a cost issue. Darn there it. is a cost issue, though. All right. 
Um, weight was... Thinking. There was no weight issue? There is no weight issue. Oh, okay. But Cheap the cost everything. block is going to be... Yeah. yeah the it's most gonna expensive limit. part. It's going to limit a lot. 53. Doing four really valves nice. per cylinder. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna limit the compression to the bottom because that's a good place to start. Yeah, work your way up. That's that. what I would do if I were doing no failures. Yeah, no failures is tough. Okay, what am I missing? Mm. There we go. I got a slight click delay. That's weird. I haven't had that. Let's see, no race header. That's a weird one. Triple carbs. Oh, oh, wait, there's yeah. a cost. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you might be able to get away with it. Regular leaded. Alright, first test. I, I clicked regular leaded, not catalytic converter, but okay. Oh, it's telling you that when you go to regular leaded, it tells you catalytic converters are not available. Okay. I got everything but the power. That seems to be a familiar theme for me. Alright. How am I on cost? Low. Okay. Wait, what? Test number one. Yes. Need more displacement. I really wanted triple carbs. <laughs> Let's uh, see. By my cost, you might be able to do it. My power's to... flattening out. Yeah, I'll try that. No horrible noises. That's a good thing. I need power. That's it. Holy cow, I made one that passed. Oh man, what's your power? A miracle. Hmm? Oh, I'm gonna overshoot now. <laughs> 140 horsepower. I know it. I'm gonna overshoot. I can drop the res a little bit. Let's I'm, drop. I'm dropping my res, let's see, 87.4 out of 87.4. Wow, I nailed that. Um, let's see, I need 134. Is enough exhaust piping or too much? And I lost much. a ton of... No, no, I gained four horsepower. I can Oop, see this I will, not, again. will not be easy. Oh, look at me. If I go one more step down on the limit. I did something weird with the head. Direct acting instead of push rod. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's helping or hurting, but it's uh, low friction and high RPM, which isn't helping me at all, but who knows. Uh, how I cost-wise? Here we go. Good. Power go up, 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 or limit right about where we were. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, just no, a no, little no. more. I just need a little more. I'll try and lean it out some. This is amazingly fun. Yeah, it's it's so simple, but it's uh yeah, just it's a quick thing. It's, for, yeah, it's not as intense as you know designing an entire engine by yourself for one of the scenarios right. or in sandbox where I like to spend a lot of my time. Zero. Okay. Well, that's my high score. Zero. Yeah. Uh, well, no. Oh. Fifteen sixty-six. It's a pretty good score. Uh, all right, I've got one test after this one, and one minute left. You gotta get something on the board. Let me let's see what you're doing here a yeah, little bit. I just need a little power. 23, uh, Oh, you went 30. with mine 6. Oh, 32! Alright, last test. Let's just throw caution to the wind. <laughs> Does he do it? Does he fail? Let's see. 17... Going up. Looks like a higher curve than before. <laughs> I dropped horsepower. Ooh. Oh, no. Ooh. There was some nasty noises from the engine. <laughs> oh, that was the last test. Knocking up. Yep. <sighs> no! <laughs> so close. I had 132. Oh. Darn. Good try. I knew I shouldn't have gone so hardcore on the last bit. <laughs> ah. Platinum. My best engine got 1,566 points. That's 
something. My improvement was negative 1,566 points. That's not something. <laughs> so I ended with not. <laughs> what are you, British? <laughs> oh, I like that they reset the points. I just jumped up to 23rd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. 2004, ultimate, unleaded, 48,000 kilometers. Here we no go. Special yeah. manufacturer requirements. 610 pounds. 350, what, 355 horsepower? Ooh. Manufacture time less than 57 hours. That's a lot to think about. Ooh. That is a lot to think about. At least we're working modern. Yeah. Uh, was our weight lower than 610 pounds? That's awful. That's going to be tough. At least there's no uh, cost. Oh, there isn't, is there? Nope. Good. Oh, no special manufacturer. Okay. Oh, that's not goes. difficult. Okay, okay. So why are we going with some... Yeah, here we go. No cost. That's what I want to see. Hmm. VVT all cams. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> turbo. Okay. Twin turbo ball bearing. Here we go. I probably should have gone... Water to air. If there's right. no cost, I should go aluminum block, I guess. Set it for race. Fuel system injection. So aluminum blocks tend to have less... Hey, uh, I get my direct injection. Reliability. Yeah. Uh, ultimate unleaded. <sighs> yeah. Let's throw it way to the rich. I have a feeling I'm going to I'm gonna overshoot blow. this. <laughs> I'm going to blow something up. Dual exhaust. High flow. Yeah. This is like a sandbox here. Yeah, it's like uh, willy -nilly. Except the manufacturing time. I'm going to be so far yeah. over. <laughs> uh, what's the manufacturing time for two twin turbos? <laughs> Uh-oh, uh-oh. Probably longer uh -oh. than 57 hours. What's your horsepower on that? What? Have you got a I, horsepower rating yet? I haven't run yet, no. Oh. See if you can beat 614. Ooh. Wait. No, I, I won't beat that, but I'm going to beat you in other things. Manufacturing time less than 57 hours? Holy crap, I'm already at 83 hours. Alright, let's see what am I at. Oh, 83? 83. At 10, that's where I'm at. Huh? <laughs> I'm at oh, 93. 93. Oh, my God. So I don't think that direct injection is probably a good idea. All right, let's get rid of the twin turbos. <laughs> See what that does for me. I'm going to lose my 600 horsepower. Hours. I know that. Let's see. 355. That's still doable. Oh, not with this. 280. 300. 314. What's the man hours on this? I'm still at... I got rid of the twin turbos. I'm still at 90 man hours. Yeah. So let's put them back on if they're only worth three. Oh, that's a good point. I'll take I huge. I got mine down to 67. I think it's... I went with, like, um, crazy low-end stuff. Or bottom-end stuff. Mm. Like, uh, let's get rid of the direct injection. Click, click, I don't know click. what else I'm going to get rid of. Running out of time. Oh, I bet you. Oh, shoot. Hey, darn it. I didn't want to do that. Let's see. Yep, that's what I need. That's what I need. It's going to do it, I think. Dang it. All right, here we go. Multi-point injection. Ah. Let's go performance instead of race. Interesting. Let's see what we get here. Mm-hmm. What is the no special manufacturer requirements? Because I cannot pass that. Uh, bottom end stuff. If it says requires forge works or anything like oh, that. Oh, okay. See, I, ooh, golly. All right, so compression was an issue. Oh, I've got a re I've got one test left, and I've got to reduce 0.7 hours. I've got plenty of power and everything. Okay, there we go. Okay. That's why. All right. That's cool. Let's, um... Let's see. B. That's Press it down a little point two. Let's get a quick test in. Four. Okay, 374. Ooh. 
My failure time's not good. I'm still at 73 man hours. And it's heavy. Whew. All you can do is twin turbos. Hmm. Alright, I'm trying my final. I'm not gonna make power without those, though. Okay, I've got the hours. Now, if it makes enough power. Uh, oh, dang no. it! Oh, man. Wait, when? Let's see. Oh, 164 horsepower. Oh, I missed the weight. Max RPM. Oh, that was horrible. I did not get that set well. I I thought I had it. Uh, the man hours turned out to be more the one than that I killed can you. Handle. Yep. You're gonna want to get the name of the next game. <laughs> oh, great. All right, let's drop it to 240. Uh, 10 second countdown was plenty. Five test runs. Maybe we should do normal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, five test runs. You ready? Yep. Game's up. Pylon killer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Australia didn't like you. <laughs> no, it did not. 1955. Okay, here we go. Power. Manufacture less than 45. Don't forget that. That was difficult last time. Yeah. Yeah. Super lit. Right. So we can get pretty good compression. No way. Gotta move a little faster this time. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta keep the cost down. Slam the all the things. <laughs> Maybe that's your problem. Oh, trust me. If it were just that, <laughs> it would be pretty easy. Super leaded. Race motor. Let's drop the... None, none, none. Um, Test number one. Failed the valve float. Oh, wow. I let a thing rev. All out, I need is power. <laughs> Think you're gonna do, do it, huh? You Let's sound, do that. You sound confident. First test, and all I need is power. Heck yeah. Bottom end part reducing MTDF. Oh. Torque yeah. limit. I don't have that problem, so. What? What happened? What, what the heck am I hitting? Uh, make what better? Huh? Oh, okay. It gave me success. Oh, I've never seen this screen before. <laughs> I thought it closed the game or something. I was like, what? what? I don't, I don't, what? I don't what get it. What did I do? <laughs> Let's make right, it. I had success. I got 1520. 1520. Oh, I'm lower than that. Darn it. Uh, I'm trying to get the MTBF. Ooh, I got the MTBF, but I actually lost points. How the heck did I manage that? Let's see. The lower here. Oh, lower I went here. up 30. What's yours? 1520? Yep. <gasps> close? Yeah. Oop, I got 1523. Darn it. Stop improving. That's that's all I've got. Let's make this a big motor. Let's see what he's doing here. Yeah, go a little more here, a little more here. Two he tests. Let's see 14. what this does. Okay, 1527. Oh. oh, you beat me. Is that enough? Yep. You're out. I'm out. I've got another test. Let's just see what we can do. Just uh, pour some salt in the wounds, huh? Let's just crank everything up. I got a minute to play with. I didn't even think about going with a V8. Oh, yeah. Th that 152 horsepower. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I needed when I started. Yeah, I was thinking four-cylinder, but it, they do not work for me. <laughs> At all. Okay, last test. Let's see what it does. Okay, engine has failed. <laughs> well, we'll go with fifteen twenty-two or fifteen twenty. That's really close. Seven. Man. Alrighty, oh, so. Mine so you says got me. fifteen twenty-seven. Yeah. What, what does yours say? Fifteen twenty-three. Oh, that's oh, oh that's too bad. You got no, gold. That's nice. Gold. You got your first. A nice PL. consolation prize. 
with my first win. You did. You're on the board with something. I'm a sore winner, if you can't tell. <laughs> Is that what that's called? Yeah. I don't think that's what it's called. I think so. I've been told it quite a few times. Ah. Okay, well... Thanks for joining me. Uh, the multiplayer is a lot of fun. A lot. Uh, even if you don't... I mean, it, it just went public, so there should be a lot more people on. Uh, this game is pretty heavily European and Australian-based, so not mm -hmm. a lot of people on during the day for us redneck Americans. 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 But uh, I hope to see everybody on here. Um, anything else? Oh, thanks for inviting me. Oh, it was welcome. fun. Um, do check out F1 2012. We are doing the co-op championship. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's pretty entertaining. We do a lot of like uh, F1 uh, discussion and mm -hmm. commentary and stuff like that. Much so. to talk about. Yeah, a lot going on this week in the real F1 world, so we'll have lots to talk about there. But as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.